deferred revenue expenditure what is a deferred revenue expenditure actually it's a revenue expenditure basic nature of the expense is that of revenue in nature an example could be advertising okay but what happens is this let us say there has been a heavy spend on advertising an example could be the dlf ipl where dlf has paid a lot of money in order to be able to host the ipl for the next let us say five seasons <clears throat> what is the nature of this expenditure it is advertising advertising normally is a revenue expenditure it is an expense because it is done to uh, it is it is a recurring in nature so advertising is is a, a normal expenditure we normally take it to profit and loss it is a recurring expense recurring advertising is something we spend on regularly however this particular expenditure is huge it's a huge amount and also let us say dlf expects to get benefit from this for the next five seasons so the benefit since it is spread over future periods though this by nature is a uh, is revenue in nature we treat it like an asset we spread this cost over the next five seasons so it is a revenue expenditure since the benefit will be received over a period the the benefit has been uh, will be there not only in the current period also in future we spread this cost over the next 5 years and treat it like an asset that is called a deferred revenue expenditure there is a small difference between deferred revenue expenditure and prepaid expense what happens in case of a prepaid expense is if we take a simple example of let us say insurance premium being paid we pay insurance premium on january 1st for 12 months an amount of 12000 we close our books on 31st march so 1000 per month for 3 months is an expense 3000 is an expense and the remaining 9000 is a prepaid expense because it relates to the expense for the next year this is called prepaid this is not referred to as the deferred revenue expenditure because we know precisely for how much and for what period of time we know that exactly 9000 is the amount of the benefit of which we will get in the next year so in case of a deferred revenue expenditure while we know the benefit will be received in the future year it is really difficult to exactly match the amount with the revenue generated or exactly spread it over the period we may not always be sure for how long this benefit would be received the difference is a bit fine but there is a greater certainty with respect to prepaid expenses but not with so much with deferred revenue expenditure some of the examples are discount on issue of debentures research and development expenses or heavy advertising expenses having said this accounting standard 26 intangible assets actually says that such expenses all such expenses should be written off to profit and loss account and not capitalized however we did have a concept of deferred revenue expenditure basically an expenditure which is a revenue in nature but of a huge amount the benefit of which is was supposed to accrue in the next in future to and therefore was written off over a certain number of years a reasonably certain number of years because always the benefit we could not uh, we could not ascertain exactly for how long the benefit would be received